Welcome to the channel, I'm Amedeo602 and today we're going to talk about how to earn the Platinum Trophy in Diablo 2 Resurrected on PlayStation. This trophy guide will be different from every other Platinum Trophy guide I've ever done because I have not and do not plan on earning the Platinum Trophy in this game. That's due to a whole host of issues which we're going to talk about in the second half of the video, but for right now let's just jump right into it. To earn the Platinum Trophy in Diablo 2 Resurrected there are 43 other trophies that you have to earn first. As is common with most of these Platinum Trophies, a bunch of these trophies are going to pop just earning other trophies. And in this particular game there are 20 what I like to call prerequisite trophies. For Diablo 2 Resurrected the prerequisite trophies include killing enemies, earning gold, selling items to the shop, completing the game on Nightmare and Hell difficulty, and most notably completing the game on Hell difficulty with each of the 7 character classes. Let me say that one more time, you have to complete the game on Hell difficulty which requires playing through Normal and Nightmare difficulty with all 7 character classes. And that's going to be our first trophy which is not a prerequisite trophy. Beat the game on Hell difficulty with all classes, this trophy is called I Like the Heat. While you're at it you might as well play on Hardcore mode because of other trophies. And specifically, there's a trophy called You Ain't Hardcore Unless You Live Hardcore which requires you to beat the game on Hardcore mode. The only difference between Hardcore mode and Normal mode is that if your character dies in Hardcore mode you can no longer play as that character. In other words, to earn this trophy you have to play on a Permadeath mode. There are two other game completion trophies, one is called Explorer Reporting, this one's pretty easy, you just have to acquire all of the Act waypoints with a single character. The last game completion trophy is called Completed Grimoire, and that trophy is earned by completing all quests with a single character. There are a few quests in the game, most notably Charcy and Larzik, where you have to go back and do something with an item, and I did confirm that you have to complete these quests all the way for this trophy to pop. Next up while you're completing the game, we also have 4 different trophies for the different mercenaries you can hire in the different acts. And I would recommend just going through each act and hiring these mercenaries at the beginning of your playthrough just to get them out of the way. When you hire a rogue scout from Act 1 you earn the You Have My Bow trophy. In Act 2 when you hire a desert mercenary you earn the Poke Poke trophy. In Act 3 when you hire an iron wolf you get They Call Me Tim. And finally in Act 5 when you hire a barbarian you get the final mercenary trophy which is called Crush Your Enemies, See Them Driven Before You. And speaking of crushing enemies, there is one PvP trophy in the game and that is to collect 20 player ears. Easiest way to do this is to have a friend and just duel them over and over again until you win 20 times. There are 6 what I like to call item related trophies in the game, and these trophies have to do with manipulating items in your inventory. The first one is called Socket To Me, and you earn this trophy just by putting a gem or a jewel into an item. I'm not sure if runes work for this, they probably do, but I was not able to test that because the trophy popped for me when I equipped a jewel. The next trophy is called Card Counter, and to earn this trophy you have to acquire a unique item from gambling. Unique items in the game have sort of this off yellow color to their title, so all you need to do to earn this trophy is just gamble a lot of gold away. And if you happen to be gambling rings and you happen to acquire a unique ring, it might just be a ring called the Stone of Jordan. If that happens that's amazing and I'm very happy for you because the next trophy we're going to talk about is called I'll Give You 8 Saj for it. Stone of Jordan is a very popular ring, you can trade for it, you can earn it from gambling like we just talked about, you can also farm different enemies for it. And if you're really lucky and you get lots of unique items throughout your gameplay, then you can earn the They See Me Rollin' They Hatin' trophy by equipping each of your character slots with a unique item. And while you're playing character dress up you might as well get the accessorizing for fun and profit trophy which is to equip a complete set. Personally I earned this with the berserker set and this is one of the easier ones to get because there are only 3 pieces in this set. The 6th and final item related trophy is called It Has a Purpose. You earn this trophy by acquiring the standard of heroes, I believe you could trade for this item or you could complete the pandemonium event to earn one for yourself. In Act 2 you will acquire an item called the Herodric Cube which can be used to combine items. You're going to need this cube to progress throughout the game and you're also going to need it to get the Shiny Trophy. The Shiny Trophy can be obtained by creating a perfect gem inside the Herodric Cube. In order to get a perfect gem in the Herodric Cube you need to combine 3 different flawless gems. You're going to be creating lots of perfect gems throughout your playthrough. And it's a good thing too because the next trophy called All the Colors of the Rainbow is going to require lots of perfect gems. 
You get this trophy by crafting a prismatic amulet in the cube. Combine one perfect gem of each type, that's a grand total of six perfect gems, and one magic amulet in the Haradric cube to get a prismatic amulet. Next, we're going to be talking an awful lot about runes. The next trophy is called Your Service is Still Required, and you earn this trophy by repairing and recharging a weapon within the cube. There's a fantastic resource put out by user Mystic Reddit that lists a lot of these crafting recipes I'm going to go over and so many more. There's a link to that down in the description below, and I strongly, strongly recommend you have that page open whenever you're playing the game, and especially whenever you're messing around in the Herodric Cube. The next trophy is called Do Over, and to earn that trophy you have to unsocket a piece of equipment in the Herodric Cube. Just be careful when you do this though, because the runes or gems within the equipment will be lost, but you'll get the equipment back so you can have another roll. The next trophy is called Rustufa Solatido, and you earn this trophy by upgrading a rune in the Herodric Cube. Similarly to the gems, you can combine lower level runes together in order to craft higher level runes. And if you combine these runes into certain socketed pieces of equipment, you can have what's called a rune word item. Rune word items are very strong, and you can get a complete list on Mystic Reddit's cheat sheet. Once you create your very first rune word item, you'll earn the Rustufa trophy. There are only two more trophies left to talk about, and these trophies are absolutely the two most difficult trophies in the game. The first trophy is called It's Only 3,520,485,254 XP, and you earn this trophy by leveling a character all the way to level 99. For anyone not familiar with Diablo 2, this can take months of actual in-game grinding. And this trophy is really a slap in the face to anyone who enjoys playing Diablo 2 but doesn't want to play it for a career for the next several months. As if that wasn't bad enough, there's a trophy called I'm Gonna Do What's Called a Pro Gamer Move, and this trophy is absolutely ridiculous. It's the same requirement as the other trophy, with the additional restriction that you have to do it in hardcore mode. Like I mentioned before, in hardcore mode, if your character dies, you can't play it again. So this is basically a huge slap in the face to the entire Diablo 2 community. When I first saw this, I thought perhaps this trophy was based on the meme, I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. And maybe something like a character name or something would unlock this trophy for you and this was just a joke. But we're now a month into the game's release and 0% of players have earned this trophy, which tells me maybe there's still an Easter egg to be found, maybe there's not. If there's not, this is absolutely the most ridiculous trophy I've ever seen, and this is the single reason why I absolutely do not recommend going for the Platinum Trophy in Diablo 2 Resurrected. This trophy takes literally months and months worth of time to earn, and the whole thing can just be erased with one lag spike. Now, maybe Blizzard's intending for you to download the Diablo 2 character editor and somehow hack your PS4 save game file, that could very well be. And honestly, I think that that is the only way anyone's going to ever earn this trophy. I'm going to make a prediction here that in 10 years, 10 years from now, if this trophy remains the way it is and there's no workaround for it, there's no faster way to earn it, I believe that fewer than 100 players in the world will achieve this trophy. That's going to wrap up the factual, objective part of this guide, and now I'd like to get into my thoughts and my feelings about this subjectively. This is a ridiculous trophy. My advice to you would be to start a small business. You are more likely to see financial and personal success in a small business than you are to complete this trophy. And really, it ruined the game, and it's a huge slap in the face for the entire trophy hunting community. And I played the original Diablo 2. I had several characters leveled well over 90 before Lord of Destruction even came out. And speaking of slaps in the face, I have been sitting in a server queue. It's Saturday morning around 9 o'clock US Eastern Time. I have been sitting in a server queue for 20 minutes before even recording this video. I was going to log in, get a couple of quick and easy trophies, but I can't even log into the game and access my Battle.net characters right now. And just to give you an idea of how long the server queue is and how ridiculous it is to even try and play this game right now, I have been in this server queue for over 50 minutes, and I am still 66th in the queue. Just like a lot of you guys, I work all week, a lot of you guys are working, you go to school all week, things like that, you get home on the weekend, you just want to play the game, and right now the game is literally not even playable. In addition to all that, I had an extra setback. Three weeks after the game launched, I had about 100 hours played time, I had a level 62 paladin that I had worked all the way up to hell in hardcore, and I was really enjoying the game on PS5. I went ahead and bought the game on PC, 
logged in and all my characters were missing. After about a week trying to get through to Blizzard customer service, they just kept blaming me that I had forgotten, I had used a different account, things like that. Absolutely no accountability, no way to call and talk to someone over the phone. Super upset about all that. So after three weeks and 100 hours played, I was less than 10% of the way to this trophy. I was probably only about 4 or 5% of the way to the trophy realistically. And then to have all my characters and all my shared stashes completely wiped, erased, and get no help from customer service, I was going back and forth with them for about a week. And for anyone who's ever dealt with Blizzard customer service, I'm so sorry to hear that because their customer service has to be among the worst on the planet. But I'm still going to end this video on a positive note and say that I'm enjoying playing the game, I'm going to keep playing it on PS5, but I am not going to be trophy hunting in this game. And maybe something will change in the future, maybe they'll get rid of this ridiculous level 99 hardcore months of grinding requirement. And if they do, maybe I'll put together another better platinum trophy guide, but as it stands right now, I'm still sitting in the server queue, it's been almost an hour. I feel like there's actually a good chance I could have this entire video made before I get to play the game, and that's just absurd. Just like with so many other things like all these lawsuits that they're facing, Blizzard, you need to do better. That's all I have to say about that. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos, usually they're more positive than this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching.